Efficient Christopher with NY Efficient. I'm here at the beautiful Giando on the water over here in Brooklyn. As you can see, we have our Manhattan Harbor right behind us. And we're getting ready to celebrate and make it official for our soon to be newlyweds, Michael and Sarah, Mr. and Mrs. Connolly. So they chose our love story package. We're gonna get the ceremony started shortly. Check us out on our social media, NY Efficient, and I will see you at the next ceremony. Take care. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, before we get started, I would just like to officially welcome you all to this perfect afternoon in February, to Giando on the water, and thank you for being here. Our beautiful couple, Sarah and Michael, truly appreciate you and are so grateful that you have all gathered here to witness this sacred union. At this time, I would like to please take a moment to remember some very special people who are no longer with us in our material existence, but of course are with us today in spirit. These beloved individuals include Sarah's grandparents on both sides. The names are Kay and John O'Keefe, and Sa Sally and James O'Rourke. And how special it is that both grandmothers, Kay and Sally, are pictured and pinned to our beautiful bride's wedding bouquet so that they are with her on our special day. So make sure you do take a look at that bouquet later on. You'll see that. Let us also remember Michael's grandparents, Arthur and Carol Connolly. Okay, who is ready for Sarah and Michael to make this officially official? If so, say, we are. We are. Excellent. I guess we should begin, right? Now, there are many ways to begin a wedding ceremony, but my absolute favorite way is to tell you a little story. I'm talking about Sarah and Michael's love story, that is. For these two lovebirds, their journey began about three years ago. Sarah and Michael know one quite interesting way in this technologic era with instant communication at our fingertips. Simple. Bumble. <laughs> and if you have been married for some time and are unsure of what it is, don't worry. Ask the single person in your row. They will explain. <laughs> or as Sarah called it, modern love in the digital era. A beautiful bride here was actually hesitant to join at first, as many others are, because she was convinced that there is no way she would find the love of her life on some dating app. Sarah remembers seeing Michael's profile picture where he was standing in a black suit on a city block looking straight into the camera with his, with his piercing blue eyes. Look at that, he finished the sentence. She found this face to be kind in combination with a non-nonsense attitude in his stance. It also helped that he was in the security profession, which made her feel very safe. And now, here's what Michael had to say about his Bumble experience. Michael said he had tried a few dating sites before Bumble and was lucky enough to be on the same app at the same time that Sarah was. Some call it fate, some call it the right algorithm. <laughs> Sarah's long blonde hair immediately caught Michael's eyes. And her being Irish was a huge plus. <laughs> and the fact that she was a teacher too. Forget about it, that just added to the attraction, he said. He knew right away that she was a kind and loving person who wanted to find the same qualities in a partner. After over a month of talking on the phone, a beautiful couple here agreed to meet in person. They chose a place called Annie Moore's, a good old Irish spot where they could get to know each other over some Guinness. 
Michael said he liked this spot specifically because it was directly across the street from his job. <laughs> so if he realized that Sarah was crazy, he could easily escape. <laughs> but clearly that did not happen. When Sarah walked into that bar, Michael immediately got nervous by how beautiful she was and how stunning she looked in that fancy dress. She was everything he expected and more. Or as Michael quoted, there was no need for an escape because I knew within minutes that she was going to be a significant part of my life. Sarah says she was also nervous. Not because she expected Michael to turn out to be a different you know, person in person, she was just pretty sure that wouldn't be the case, but she did have the standard first date jitters, which quickly dissipated after some Guinness, <laughs> and then because they ended up hitting off so well that they actually stayed until the bar closed. Sarah loved Michael's Brooklyn accent, his funny stories about growing up in Greenpoint, and he just made her feel special. The connection was undeniable. It turned out to be the very first date and the best date that they had. And it planted the seed for this unshakable foundation that has led us here today. And since that day, this beautiful couple have shared so many wonderful moments and created special lifelong memories. Sarah, an avid Broadway theater fan, brought Michael to see his very first Broadway play, Jersey Boys. He expected to hate it, but ended up loving it. And they have had been to at least 10 Broadway shows since. More more than that. Yeah. <laughs> no more. This was a brand new experience for Michael that he was so skeptical of and never expected to love so much. But Michael and Sarah's all-time favorite play is Moulin Rouge. They have seen it several times. Oh, and may I also add, Sarah did not only influence Michael to love Broadway, but also reality TV. <laughs> Who would have ever thought that this guy's favorite TV shows would end up being Beverly Hills oh and The Real Housewives of New Jersey? <laughs> For Sarah, being a Manhattan girl, she always dreaded going to Brooklyn. <laughs> However, after meeting Michael, some of her greatest experiences with him ended up being in Brooklyn, specifically Greenpoint. She didn't realize how close it was. She always associated Manhattan to Brooklyn as New York to Texas. And it certainly doesn't hurt that Michael is pretty much the mayor of Greenpoint. They literally cannot walk anywhere without someone saying, Hey, Michael. This special sense of community has truly been significant in their relationship. Actually, they have a beautiful home together in Greenpoint. And I especially love the fact that their seven-year-old fur baby, Dublin, the adorable seven-pound Pomeranian now has a dog park on their roof. They have also traveled out of the big city and experienced Miami. They really went to South Beach for the first time and absolutely loved the music and the beach and especially all the Cuban food and, of course, the drinks. They also just recently took a trip, a family trip, to Disney World with Sarah's nephews and had a blast watching the fireworks. And did you know that Sarah and Michael also traveled the entire globe and visited about 10 countries in under 10 hours? Astonishing, right? It's actually at Epcot, though. All right, now, family and friends, my favorite part of any love story. Because no love story is complete without it. And that is, how did Michael pop the question? You ready? Here we go. The day before Thanksgiving in 2020, Mike had asked Sarah if she wanted to go out and do something. She actually knew right away that this was going that he was going to propose because he didn't usually ask her. <laughs> Especially not with the sense of urgency that he expressed at that time. So they decided to go to this place in Brooklyn to put up the Christmas tree. And after they set up the lights, to Sarah's surprise, like <laughs> Michael was on one knee with a gorgeous shiny ring and looked into Sarah's Irish eyes and asked if she would spend the rest of her life with him. And what did Sarah say? Yeah. Yeah. She said yes. And so we end up here today. 
The romantic gentleman that Michael is, he chose that location because that was going to be their new home. Great job, Michael. Good planning. <laughs> Michael, Sarah loves you with all of her heart and soul. One of her favorite things about you is how you are so open to do things that she loves, even if it's new to you. Your adventurous spirit, your protective nature, your highly respectable principles and moral compass, your emotional side, the fact that you sometimes cry when talking about your godson, Kieran. You have such a pure heart. And Sarah says she wishes everyone had a Michael Connolly in their life. And even though you have an enormous talent for earth-shaking snoring that couldn't possibly <laughs> come out of a human being's body, there is nobody else on this planet that Sarah would rather spend the rest of her life with than you. Sarah, Michael absolutely adores you. He says you are the kindest person he has ever known. You always try to see the other side of an argument and genuinely attempt to understand a different point of view than yours. A rare and special quality in a human being. He says that if people only knew how much time and effort you put into your work with your children, they would be blown away. When you love, you love hard. Michael says he is so lucky that you love him as much as you do. And even though you're always running late, including to your first date, by the way. And today. And today, we gotta add that on there. There is nobody on this planet that he would rather grow old with than you. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a special kind of love. A love that I like to call forever love. And here we are now, ready to witness these two tie the knot before our very eyes and make this sacred union officially official. Look right into Michael's eyes, those blue piercing ones. And if you agree with everything that I have to say, you're gonna say I do, loud and clear. Sarah, do you love Michael willingly and completely? I do. Oh, she, we're getting there, she's excited. <laughs> Withholding nothing. Will you honor and protect him and give him your deepest considerations of his feelings, desires, and needs? If so, say, I do. I do. <laughs> if you agree with everything that I have to say, you're gonna say I do loud and clear. Mm -hmm. Michael, do you love Sarah willingly and completely withholding nothing? I do. He's, he's excited, we're getting it. <laughs> Will you honor and protect her and give her your deepest considerations of her feelings, desires, and needs? I do. He does put those hands together for her. <laughs> Sarah and Michael, have you come freely, without reservation, to give yourselves to each other in marriage. Will you honor each other as man and wife for the rest of your lives? Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up accordingly to the law of Christ and his church? Beautiful, thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as a newlywed to begin their vows for each other, understand that these are sacred life promises that they're making to one another. I, Sarah, I, Sarah, take you, Michael, take you, Michael, for my lawful husband, for my lawful husband, I, Michael, I, Michael, take you, Sarah, take you, Sarah, for my lawful wife, for my lawful wife, Jimmy, can we have the rings, please? Let's give Jimmy a big round of applause. <laughs> we have ring security right here. And Sarah, as you place the ring on Michael's finger, repeat after me. Michael. Michael. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. And place that ring on his finger. Sarah. Sarah. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. And place that ring on her finger, please. Now, before we conclude this marriage, I would like to read a very meaningful Celtic blessing to our bride and groom. And it reads, May the blessing of light be on you, light without and light within. May the blessed sunlight shine on you 
and warm your heart till it glows like a great peat fire. May your home be filled with laughter. May your pockets be filled with gold. And may you have all the happiness your Irish heart can hold. May your blessings outnumber the shamrocks that grow. And may trouble avoid you wherever you go. May luck be a friend to ye, and be with ye in all your days. And may trouble be to ye a stranger always. I was trying to do the Irish accent, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, for my favorite part of the ceremony. So keep those cameras and video rolling. Family and friends, it is my honor and my pleasure with the power vested in me from the state of New York and in the eyes of God to now pronounce you husband and wife. Put those hands together for everyone. Michael. And now it's time to officially seal the deal. You may now kiss your beautiful wife. Family and friends, ladies and gentlemen, we give to you the new Mr. and Mrs. Connolly. Yeah.